everybody and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about two separate fin tethers or fin savers and these are them here this is from sniper bodyboards and these are just some shoelaces so let's get into it these fin tethers are something that i've really wanted to discuss and it's taken me a while to make this video because i haven't really used uh, this type of fin tether this type of fin tether kind of is a much more comfortable um, much easier to use and kind of easy going fin saver that is extremely safe and is probably the safest product on the market when you're looking for something that is going to keep the fin attached to your foot then we go on to these these are quite simply just shoelaces that have been dipped and rubberized on the ends to make it easier to pull and I'll show you why a little bit later but basically these are probably the cheapest option when looking for something to attach your fin to your leg regardless of where you're riding whether it be shore brakes or anywhere else but I just wanted to run through both products and explain some pros and cons some advantages and disadvantages of each of these and basically why I choose to use shoelaces over the deluxe fin tether from Sniper. So jumping straight into it, I wanted to just discuss the shoelace. Now the shoelace is a lightweight, easy to fit, very cheap option that you can use. I've seen these online between five and eight dollars and it's really inexpensive, easy to find. You can go into pretty much any clothing shop and you'll be able to find these shoelaces. And once you get them, it's a really easy fit. What I like to do and what this product has, which is really cool, is they have made two loops in it. So it gets the first loop and the second loop. And this allows you to just kind of put these through and attach them to the fin really easy. And then you can tie your knots. Now, the one thing that I do like about this laces idea is the fact that you can just tie them to any fin. You can take them off, put them back. It's really quick, really easy. If you don't want to ride with fin tethers, Taking them off is an absolute breeze. Really quick, really easy, and this is how I've always ridden with them. And it's something that I've just kind of got used to, and I don't really want to change. The reason why I don't want to change is because I ride with extremely small fins. These are a medium pair of fins. It is extremely tight on my foot as it is. So putting something extra on the end, like a deluxe fin tether from Sniper, it is going to decrease the amount of space that you have for your fit to fit in the fin comfortably. And this is just something that I've never really wanted to do. So I have never done it. The disadvantage about these shoelaces is that it does require a special knot. Now this is not a knot that you are going to really get tricked into and you won't be able to do it. It's something super simple. And it is basically this you tie your normal knot as it would be you then take the one loop and thread it through the other and then pull that loop tight now what this is going to do is it's going to secure your foot to the fin tether and it's a very safe knot to use the best part about it is that when you get into cold water where your hands start to get numb and you can't feel your fingers getting to the beach and undoing your fins is an absolute breeze and it's just literally one pull and the fin just pops off. The other disadvantage of having the shoelaces is that sometimes this shoelace gets caught in between your leg and the actual fin itself. And this can cause quite a lot of chafing and rashing and almost always will result in some sort of fin sore or fin cut later on. This is something that takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you do get used to the fin tethers and these shoelaces, it makes it a hell of a lot more comfortable, lightweight, and easy to use. Next, we are gonna be talking about the Deluxe Fin Tethers from Sniper Bodyboards. Now, the Deluxe Fin Tether is something that I really, really like. I like the idea of it, but I don't like the use due to the fact that it just makes the fin that much tighter. And unfortunately, that's not really what I want when I'm wearing these fins. So, when we talk about the Fin Tether, it is extremely easy to use it is probably even easier than tying this knot that I was mentioning before on the fin tethers but the benefit is that it's simply a pull to tighten and a lift to release it is that easy so the benefits of using this is very simple it is extremely safe it is easy to use super easy to tighten and release as well as being extremely comfortable now this adds another level of comfort because you have this padded neoprene on the outside 
which is going to actually line the inside of the fin and make it very comfortable. This is the chance for you to lessen the amount of fin cuts and fin sores that you're getting from the fins rubbing the entire time. But at the same time, it is a much more expensive option when you're looking at fin tethers. They are available on the sniper site for 15 euros. That is the equivalent to about 18 to 20 dollars, where in comparison, you are looking at anywhere from two dollars for a normal shoelace up to about seven or eight dollars for those rubberized tips. And that makes that option a lot more affordable, but at the same time, you're looking for safety and comfort when you get to these. The disadvantages, as I've said before a couple times, is making the fin a little bit tighter. But the other thing is that this is extremely difficult to put on. Uh, when it comes to you in the packaging, these neoprene slip-ons are quite tight, so you really have to maneuver and try and really pull this neoprene over and get the Velcros lined up quite tightly. In saying that, it's an extremely safe option that Velcro is never going to come off as you feed these lines straight through the um, neoprene and that makes this option probably a lot more safer than the shoelaces. The shoelaces have a tendency to pull through the rubber of the fin if it is put under enough pressure, whereas if you're wearing these deluxe fin tethers, you're not going to have that problem with the fin ripping through as it is the entire back strap of the fin that is covered. So just to summarize, it is completely up to the user. For me, I enjoy riding with the shoelace option as this is just something that I've been doing for years and it just makes it a lot easier for me to get the fins on, take them off and with that not surfing in cold temperatures like we do here in Cape Town, it is an easy, quick option to release fins off your foot. In saying that, the deluxe fin tether from Sniper is about the same with putting on and taking off. Tightening and loosening these fin tethers is something that is so easy. It's comfortable, it's safe, and it's a good option if you're looking to keep those fins on your feet. So I'm sure as you guys have noticed, this is again up to personal preference. The reason why I choose to wear the shoelaces is because it is a comfortable, lightweight, easy to use function that I can interchange between fins very quickly. Whereas the deluxe fin tether from Sniper will make the fin a little bit tighter, but at the same time, you're looking for a way safer, way more comfortable option with that padding around the heel. Now this is something that you guys can choose and you guys can look up. It's a very inexpensive way to keep your fins safe and keep them on you at all times. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so you can get notified first. Fin tethers are something that are super important, especially when you get into bigger conditions and you need those fins attached to your body. You don't want to be going out in those big conditions with equipment that is not ready to handle what you're going to surf. Please be safe out there. Wear the fin tethers if you have. If you don't have pick them up at your local surf shop or alternatively shop online at sniperbodyboards.com. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about different fin tether options and we will see you in the next video.